Have you heard of the communal narcissist? A communal narcissist is one that gets along with everybody, seems so generous, is the head of that one charity, is volunteering at the church every Sunday, and seems to be just a martyr of the community. <laughs> but behind closed doors, they are a completely different person. They are abusing you verbally, mentally, they are cold, they are calculated. If you dare try to complain about their atrocious behavior in private to anybody, their response is most likely going to be something along the lines of, nobody's going to believe you. And nobody does believe it because they're like, no, so-and-so is so nice, they're so generous. The communal narcissist is, like other narcissists, obsessed with their image. They're on the board of the charity, not because they care about the charity, but because it looks good. It makes them look like they care, when in reality, they don't care. Here's an example from my own life. I had a boss years ago that was the executive director of a women's shelter for women who had been abused sexually. But when us female coworkers complained to her that a male coworker was sending us inappropriate pictures of his she literally replied well boys will be boys and that just shows you how little these narcissists care about the causes they claim that they do the other more sinister aspect of a communal narcissist is when they start to smear you they will take it from a place of concern so if they think that you're gonna start talking bad about them They'll tell your friends and coworkers and family that they think that you're struggling with mental health issues. They're able to discredit you because the other people don't see that they're toxic and abusive. And really, you probably are suffering from mental health issues because of the communal narcissist and the gaslighting they're doing to you on the regular. Be cautious that because with the communal narcissist, their ego is everything, they will go full force if you try to smear them. They will ramp it up times 10,000. It's best to walk away from this person and completely go no contact. This is not a good person. This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This is someone with such a grandiose sense of self coming out in a way that looks charitable, but they would never give an anonymous donation because they would not get the recognition for it. They are damaging and you should stay away from them. Do all narcissists cheat? Yeah, pretty much. Here's why. A narcissist's internal self-worth relies on their supply, external people that they're with and around and it relies on it extremely heavily to an extremely unhealthy degree. You might have noticed with your narcissist that they'll make jabs at you, but they can't take a joke back. And if you say anything negative or any sort of criticism, they freak out. That's because a narcissist's self-worth relies on what you think of them moment to moment. So if you make a little lighthearted jab that they're not very smart or whatever it is, they now think that you believe that of them, which means that they believe that of themselves. So because they're hypersensitive like this, they are always looking for that person who's going to do and say the perfect thing 100% of the time. Plus the fact that they're very impulsive people. They tend to get addicted to things like drugs, alcohol, gambling, love, potential, work. So the minute you say that one thing they don't like, if you tell them you're being a doofus right now, they remember that for like months and in the meantime are looking for someone else. So even if they don't physically cheat on you, they're almost always setting someone up to have on the back burner because they know you guys are gonna break up at some point and they're gonna need to jump to that next partner. So you'll see a lot of emotional cheating going on. If you happen to catch this, the narcissist will gaslight you and say, well, I haven't done anything with them. We were just talking, we're just friends, but you just intercepted what's going to turn out to be a romantic relationship. 
for the narcissists that have more of an avoidant commitment style, they will cheat in their own way. They'll oftentimes get with a married woman or a married man on purpose because they know that that's not going to lead anywhere long term. And if you're the one that they're married to and you confront that narcissist who is sleeping with your husband or your wife, they won't even care. They're like, yeah, that's the point that they're married. That's what I wanted. These people do not have a solid moral compass because they don't have an internal sense of self. They just do whatever is best or feels best for them in that moment because that's what they want to do. And if you stay with them long term, you will constantly find their eye wandering, which is why it's best to get out, don't have a relationship with them, and go no contact to completely disarm a narcissist using the blink technique. If you haven't heard of the blink technique, I suggest you give it a go, assuming you can keep yourself safe. When you are in a relationship with a narcissist, it is, in their mind, you versus them. You are constantly in a battle for power, and they have to win 100% of the time. But if you think of any great military battle throughout history, the side that wins is the one that oftentimes catches the other side completely off guard so that they can disarm them. And the way that you do that with a narcissist is to completely stop emotionally responding to their bait for attention, drama, and chaos. Narcissists love to stir the pot. They love to cause fights with you. They love to call you names and abuse you. So next time they're hollering and yelling at you, instead of yelling back, use the blink technique. Stare at them blank faced and blink five times like this. All you're doing is focusing on the blinking. You are not responding. You're not talking out loud. You are just staring at them. The reason I say five times is it gives enough silence in the argument and the conversation to be extremely jarring for the narcissist who's expecting you to scream back, to defend yourself, to justify your actions. The people who are the best communicators also know how to use silence to their advantage. And silence, a blank stare, is extremely powerful when it comes to a narcissist because it makes them feel insignificant and they will experience a narcissistic injury. Doing the blink technique whenever you don't feel like engaging with the narcissist can be extremely freeing. When you utilize it, they're going to try to get you to react. They're going to say that you're being weird. They're going to call you names. But you do not have to engage with somebody who is toxic towards you and abusing you. You can just stare. You can just act like you didn't even hear what they said. You are under no obligation whatsoever to give a response to that kind of behavior, nor should you. You will never win from calling the narcissist names back or fighting back because unfortunately that's exactly what they want. But if you do the blink technique and then you walk away, you leave the room, you do not acknowledge the conversation any further and you gray rock, you will be on the path to emotional freedom.